What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Legend of Mushrooms video. That's right, I'm still playing this game, believe it or not. Some of you might have thought this is a one-hit wonder, but it's not. I'm having a blast and we're going to go over the account right now and talk a little bit about the game, uh, what to expect if you plan to join it, obviously, and why this game is still one of those games that I'm playing uh, quite, actually probably more than any other game right now on my list. So first off, uh, if you are looking to download the game, you can play it on your PC with the link below. Obviously, click on the BlueStacks link and join the fun. Now, what makes this game a lot of fun and a blast so far has been a couple different systems. I want to go through these systems and kind of discuss how you want to take advantage of them when you do decide to play. So first off, the loot system. If you played Nobody Chop Chop, you understand how this loot system works. You guys can see all my gear here and all the stats I have. Now, this little magic lamp, I kind of covered it in the first video. It is where you're going to get all your loot. So whenever you kill a boss or whenever you do an event, you're going to have the opportunity to get yourself loot in this magic lamp. The moment you click a lamp, one of these little numbers will go down and loot will pop up. Now, as you increase in level and as you increase in difficulty, loot will be able to be captured in a larger sum. So, for example, right now, uh, you can use two, four, six, and eight at a time. So if I do eight, for example, and I click start, you'll see eight will get diminished and loot will be sold by eight here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this later. Um, and you guys can see, you guys can also set the filter up. Uh, let me just stop the filter for a sec to give you the certain amount of quality you're looking for. So my point in time right now, I'm looking for supreme and above because everything else for me currently is an immortal. Now, how pay to win is this game? Because a lot of people are going to ask that question right away. So I'll be real with you guys. I think up to this point, I've probably spent a good $400. That's right, $400 for me. That's a lot, right? It's a lot of money. But this is to fast track and probably be top, I'd say, 12 or 13 on the server. Uh, I'd say top prize player, probably in the thousands. So for a gotcha, it's not that bad, uh, but it doesn't require you to be uh, pay to win. No, and that's the beauty of it, right? This is an AFK game. Yes, there is PvP, but the PvP rewards are so minimal that they really don't matter that much. So you can definitely avoid the PvP aspect and enjoy the PvE, which is essentially scaling through different levels, collecting loot, and unlocking different modes. Now, there are different modes in this game, and I want to talk about those as well, too. There is something called Cross the Abyssal Portal, which essentially is uh, you can attempt to fight a Cerberus-looking boss with a suit on, uh, try to do as much damage as you can, collect loot. Now, the beauty of this, is, of course, is the fact that it is free to join uh, and your damage is scaled off of everybody on your server rather than cross server. So if you have a server that's very pay to win heavy, it becomes a lot more difficult to succeed. If your server is a lot less pay to win heavy, you could actually do fairly well and reap some of the rewards that are offered in this fight. Now, another thing to also mention is the fact that your guild will matter a lot. The guild in this is called family. So your family's performance as a free to play player, just like any other game, if you join a good guild and you guys are participating in the guild events you can actually reap a lot of benefits as a free-to-play player now i did i did create a free-to-play account to make sure that i did really well in it and quite honestly joining a good family helped me advance to the top 50 fairly easily in pvp and also i was able to get enough rewards to boost up my account to make me formidable enough to go further now it's almost endless the amount of um stages you can do because right now if you look at it i'm currently on apocalypse 9 6 and you guys can see here it's apocalypse 6 eventually be apocalypse 7 8 9 10 and i don't know if it goes any further than that but to get to this point it took quite some time so the levels are always there the enemies do change the bosses do change the difficulty does get increased and there are a lot of events to help you advance further in the game so for example this is currently an event going on called the childhood memories where you do certain card requirements and as you do these requirements they give you this free loot this free loot will give you guys uh time to go into the arcade game and from here you can purchase yourself these little tokens which allows you to summon in the windmill shop sorry not windmill shop that actually is a different token thing in the paper windmill and lets you roll randomly for items so you can get yourself quite a bit of a good loot here including summoning tickets for pals that's right they're called pals uh pals are essentially your pets that you use to damage enemies uh you can get yourself gold which is extremely important get yourself some uh, equipment and costumes uh which will also help you level up a little further, uh, etc. Right? So there's quite a bit of cool things to join and there's always constant events going on. So I highly recommend guys, as if you are looking to do this as free to play, jump on and give this a try. You are, you are not going to go wrong with it. Now on top of that, a couple different free modes to play as well too. The Assault Le uh, Lamp Thief, which helps you guys get lamp, which will help you get loot. The one thing I do recommend for anyone who is going to play this game, don't use your lamp non-stop. 
Get enough gear to advance, and when you're on a hard stop, then start using your lamps. Use your lamps also when the, there's a required challenge here that lets you use them. But outside of that, you should always be saving. The reason why it's important to always save is because as you increase your lamp uh, quality, the actual drop rates of the better gear will happen as well too, allowing you to get better gear. Now, lamps are easy to acquire, but you want to accumulate as many possible because eventually when you get to the point where you're like doing Supreme like I am, it's only a 0.02% chance. So out of every... 4,000 lamps, for example, I might get one lucky drop. In this case, I got a weapon here, which allows me obviously to do a lot more damage. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's significant, the level, the increase that you get per tier. Like for example, from going from Epic to Legendary, your damage will skyrocket. Your survivability will skyrocket. So it's very, very important, guys, to remember to, to hold on to lamps. Don't just spend them as you get them. And I know that that's been a, a bad habit for a lot of folks. So I want to make sure that you understand that. Also, the reason why you want to join a big family, something else I want to talk about is the fact that when people buy gift boxes, everybody gets loot. Luckily, I got 190 there, um, 33 there five there right so this is an easy way as a free-to-play player to get yourself quite a bit of diamonds which you should be saving for two things for as a free-to-play player either gold to get your lamp up as fast as you possibly can or summons those are the two main things and speaking of summons this is the way this works okay just so you guys are aware every single day you can get yourself three free draws uh, of skills and pals okay so make sure you watch the ads or if you want to pay the 9.99 which i actually in this case, most of them I don't recommend this, but in this game I do recommend it because it gets rid of all the ads and you get a ton of free stuff without watching ads. Uh, so the way this works is you get uh, three free summons, multis as a matter of fact, of 15 each. In this case, when you level up to level 10, you get 30. And then eventually you can do draws here of 35 plus. Now, as you increase the levels, you have a high chance of getting yourself, for example, right here, an epic to a legendary, eventually immortal pet or skill. So that's very, very important. The same thing works with pals. So eventually you want to make sure that you are collecting these tickets through events and you are summoning as much as you possibly can and then when you get those you can also level them up and it further enhances your power and then eventually you'll be able to even go into the handbook uh, which is right over here i believe this is the handbook uh no that's not the handbook this is the handbook right here and go even further in power by collecting certain levels for certain um skill so no skill ever goes underused or underutilized because as you level them up your power will increase as well so make sure guys if you are jumping onto this game number one join a good family number two make sure you're doing every single event every single day okay these events matter even the even using for example the keys to watch advertisements 100 percent do that because look eventually you're going to get to this point where you have to hit another level and if you miss a day it's going to set you back a lot from getting free rewards so make sure you are doing that save your gold this is pivotal for your growth okay gold is so so important guys and it costs a lot of gold to get your your lamp up but it's 1000 percent worth it because it actually increases your power more than anything else so make sure you are doing that also when you unlock these little relics here make sure you are searching for relics because the more you search the more you'll unlock these right here and you'll get yourself more powerful relics and after you've got all the slots unlocked then you can start leveling them up i made that mistake early on that is something i should have done better and that was my mistake so i'm passing that on to you guys vehicles matter a lot too so make sure you are doing clockwork and you are leveling up your vehicle the higher level of your vehicle the more hp bonus attack bonus and defense bonus you get plus evasion so these are all very very important things to work on uh, and more things are coming down the line for example there is a weapon slot here called an artifact that can also give you guys more power as well as ignore evasion so this is a good counter attack to actual vehicles so you need to level this up to get yourself uh, against other people and you can also morph things these are a little bit more pay to win that do additional basic attack uh, previews or not previews sorry basic attack effects and lets you become more powerful that way so there are many many ways to do it also it is an idle game so there is an idle shop here you can get two hour bonuses three times a day by watching ads or you can claim this every single day it is very very generous so as a free-to-play player you will not be stuck without having the ability to advance in this game plus they send you these little dinosaurs here and there collect those to get yourself some extra ads so remember guys this is uh, mushroom uh, legends of mushroom it is on blue stacks click the link below to support your boy and download it for blue stacks and remember more tips are coming down the line love the game still enjoying it and i'll talk more about pals and skills a little bit more thoroughly in the next video talk to you guys in the next one take care